Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on the Series JG. Sorry for the abrupt cutoff of the last video, but I um, had like a little technical issue with the TV that um, shut down the video. And I didn't realize that um, you didn't miss... I mean, basically, I had like 20 seconds of me saying, Oh, I'm not sure the video is still recording, so I better shut down. Uh, and that, that got cut off. So, yeah, whatever. Um... So the last video was a little bit on the short side. That's okay. I've had a couple of these videos go along, and we are now back to the uh, the, the same uh, ship wreck that we actually got as our first shipwreck, I think, to learn how shipwrecks work. And we're back because uh, it said I got three of six chests, so I figure I must have. Uh, uh, this must be the one that I was already at, and it's the next one where we have an upgrade plan to receive. So this is pretty exciting and adventurous. The first time, I bet it'll be even cooler now. Maybe. Certainly there are frickin' sharks all over the place. That's just, that's a thing. Maybe this isn't the same one, because I didn't think we'd left that many, uh... And yeah, this one's a pretty easy one to find, so I would have thought I would have gotten it. And, uh, and there's another one kind of, if we keep going to this same general direction, away from the, I'm sure touching jellyfish is bad. Anything where you can actually see what you're doing, it's dangerous to touch it. And he kicks off the beam for speed. That's very cool. Oh, there's the chest right there. Can I get underneath this guy? No, I'm gonna get shot. Whatever. It always seems to be the last chest that actually gives plan. I wonder if that's just a coincidence or if it actually works that way. You have to get them all. Gotta get them all. But then again, the one, the one that I got last, last time actually was located in like a temple and was specifically like impressive looking. So maybe it's just a coincidence. Off this beam to get some speed. Is that how this works? Okay, I seem to have done that totally wrong. Right, whatever. Hit this guy again. It's a renewable resource, so I prefer using it to those ones that you get one shot and then they're depleted. I think, uh, yeah, I'm heading in the right general direction, but there are sharks that are becoming interested. There's an Abstergo fragment hidden away in this chunk of the boat. I'm, after all, meant to be exploring a shipwreck, so... Shipwreck the sailor. And I'm gonna get shocked. Or no, I didn't get shocked, what do you know? Pleasant surprise. Starting to get the hang of this whole thing, I say, and immediately get spotted by a shark. Okay, somewhere in all this horse hockey is another chest. Perhaps on top of this thing? Where's the chest? Leave me alone. Well, whether I get attacked by sharks or not, I need more oxygen. 
Shark attacks do not eliminate the human body's need for oxygen, folks. This is something I've learned the hard way over the years. Oh, you can't see me. I'm the John Cena of piracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know you're gonna attack. It's fine. Get in there, you jerk. Was this the the plan I needed, or maybe I already got the plan, and I'm just confused? No, that was the plan I needed. Yeah, 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 sharks, I got you. What do you mean sharks swim faster than I do? It's almost like they're built for it. No, no fair, I'm hitting the interact with button, you can't touch me. I'm immune to your attacks, shark, as long as I'm pressing the circle button. Alrighty. Well, rather than going to buy that upgrade right now, we'll just head straight for the next upgrade plan. And according to the wiki, I just got... So that was elite round shot strength I got the first, last video. That was elite hull armor I got, which is good. Elite Swivel Guns is next. That's at 487, 357. 487, 357. 487, 357. Yeah, I guess they're all in some kind of underwater madness. Press triangle several times to change shots with your guns and interrupt enemy attacks. Good idea, game. I guess if I really am intent on uh, holding off the plot for as long as possible, I'm going to have to start doing assassination missions soon. I'm running out of... Uh, and I guess there's always the... Um, the great ships, the super ships, or whatever. Uh, which I'm kind of not looking forward to because I played around with one of them, as you'll recall, and just got crushed. Something, something, something. Pick up some crew. Don't worry, we've captured them for our own evil purposes. Who knew that piloting a you know sea ship was so easy? I don't know what's their fallen. Bobo are having so much trouble. Oh, this, this is easy stuff. Something down below us, sir. I think it's Satan gesturing us to come into the pit. Ah, <sighs> anyway. The Devil's Eye Cavern. Use the Devil's Eye! So you find out that, like, this shark is a fear of water, which is ironic considering it's a shark. Immune to clamping and... Whatever. That's the joke, folks. Okay, so it's another Abstergo challenge. Completing Abstergo challenges unlocks cheats, which... I don't really get they they don't they won't save game progress when you're using cheats even if they're cheats that are just like amusing cheats that don't help like there's a cheat which makes Edward occasionally shout out like pirate slang from movies like he just goes yar like periodically it's it's well it doesn't happen that often it's kind of funny when it does but 
it's just bizarre that you trade in the ability to actually progress in the game. Okay, so... Try to evade jellyfish. And here's the... There don't seem to be any, uh... Probably jinxing it. I haven't heard any sharks yet. I'm fine with that. To tell you the truth. It does sound like there's a whale or something. It's a whale of a tail. Your crew can drop air barrels. Oh, that's nice. So at least now I understand where they're coming from. My crew is supposed to be dropping them to help me. My crew, which consists of... Uh, Ottawale and... Anonymous pirates that can be replaced as, like any renewable resource, which I guess is kind of the way it works in, uh... Oh, am I swinging against the current? That's what's going on. I guess that's the way it works in, uh... Whatchamacallit, uh... Horizons. Uncharted Waters, New Horizons, yeah. having any luck at all figuring out how to navigate this thing. I don't really want to die down here. Although that's where it seems to be heading. Just get over to this... Yeah, that thing. Get over to that thing. Toot sweet. How did they get an air barrel down here? My crew's pretty incredible. Okay, there is, like, actual... Uh... Like, it's not rock directly above. You can actually get to here. Bone pipe, eh? Um, can I not get... Yeah. Just trying to get out of here. Yeah, that looks like something you can interact with. That looks interactable. Get on down there, Kenway. Come on. There's a good pirate. Not a privateer. Because he told his wife he might become a privateer, but he became a pirate. Shocking that one guy who commented on the first video. When, uh, Mr. Know It All of Rocky and Bullwinkle fame appeared in the first video and told us that pirates and privateers aren't the same thing. Okay. Jeez, it's going to be a pain in the butt to get back to, uh... Because, yeah, this one seems to be really linear. Alright, well... Maybe I was never supposed to come back out of this thing. Maybe the path forward is in here. Yep. Shoot. Oh, hopefully... Okay, there's a current picking up. Say, so hopefully I haven't gotten... Oh, you know what? I'm good. Those are... Those are air pockets. It's not... Those air barrels, those are like single use. The air pockets are not. Um. Still got to be able to actually get up. There we go. 
Couldn't figure out exactly where I was going there for a minute. Okay, this is, yeah, this isn't going to go well for me. Because I saw those little bright blue spots and somehow thought they represent oxygen. They represent nothing of the sort. Not exactly sure what they represent. Man, the devil's eye. It's got a lot of jellyfish in it. Fragment bitches. Too bad I can't find any sea shanties down here. That would be pretty sweet. Down here in Davy Jones' locker. Find like Daydream Believer down here in uh, Last Train to Clarksville. Other popular Davy Jones songs. Yeah, see? I thought I was dead there for a second. I thought I just kind of screwed up. Oh. Ugh, I could use some Templar armor, I tell ya. Well, luckily I won't suddenly encounter a bunch of British guards down here. That would be kind of weird. There's the design plans. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've actually used the parkour hopping around like a monkey controls, but uh, there has to be a chest down here, otherwise, this makes no freaking sense. And I saved my game anyway. Now I'm in this impossibly long current sequence, which I assume is designed to get me back towards the beginning of the level in the minimum amount of time, while making it somewhat possible to die. That wasn't my fault. How was I supposed to avoid that? Well, they did just save. Okay. Yeah. So I got deposited much, much closer to... Okay, so that's a nifty little piece of game design there. And I gotta tell you, this was fairly easily my favorite of these... Uh, favorite of these uh, little shipwrecks because it didn't have any sharks. Sharks are by far my least favorite part of the shipwreck areas. Anyway, another successful shipwreck thingy. So I guess we'll just keep rolling with this, similar to when we did all the forts in one go. Now this I'm supposed to go to Andreas Island, but there's a chest required. Let's see what the buried chest is. Elite Harpoon Plans, okay. The map for this chest is on Marguana Island. I think I've already got that one. 579720. Okay, let's see if we've already got that map. 579720. Or have I already got Elite Harpoons? Let's get out of here first before we, uh... Five seventy nine seven twenty. I do have already, so let's actually go there and get five seventy nine seven twenty. Get whatever the heck we're supposed to get. Andreas Island, they said.
That looks about right. Red, you're in conflict. Oh my god. Sorry, Red, you seem to be in conflict. You're being attacked by people who want you to finish um, Legend of Dragoon. Okay, so apparently I'm not supposed to be on this island, according to the Spanish. Oh, well, they don't care now that I'm actually here. So... There should be a little island. Okay, over here. Simple enough. I do have a treasure map that links to this location. You are correct, game. Indeed. It's almost like I'm using an online guide to take away all of the mystery of the game. And the mystery of the desert. Yeah, it was definitely a big deal to, um, in the old days, uh, NES games to find all the secrets for yourself. But uh, we also didn't have Let's Plays back then, where you would be, like, recording yourself playing for hours and hours and not doing anything interesting while trying to find a secret. So, return to the ship. Return to violence! Alright, that's another elite plan down. Uh, next one is uh, at the blue hole. 471-170. And it's another shipwreck one. I've already forgotten the coordinates, but they said the blue hole, so it'll be... A shipwreck we haven't done yet. See, now they all contain upgrade plans. Maybe I just need to go to all the damn shipwrecks and stop worrying about doing them in order, but if I do them in the order this fact has them, then I'll basically know that I got them all. They all contain upgrade plans. It seems like that one doesn't. It does have an, a secret, though. Don't like me, but she sure likes new bone. Do, 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 I don't remember what LP I was describing. I think I was telling Xerophal about how that Marion song is the worst song ever. I don't see how I get out of here without getting attacked. Uh, maybe I should fast travel somewhere. No. Screw it, man. We'll just we'll fight our way past these sons of bitches if we have to. Or just sail past them at speed. Can't touch us, bitches. My ship's got all sorts of elite stuff that I haven't bothered to buy. Does that look like a frigate? It looks to me like there's some uh, British ships over there. Could uh, get them to attack each other. Although, as we've found before, if you sail into the middle of a battle between the British and the Spanish, they will sometimes both start attacking you. <laughs> but, of course, the problem is they will not let me play with the shipwreck while I'm in combat, so... I'm going to need to try to avoid... I almost got hit. Okay, it won't let me do it because I'm in conflict. I'm trying to keep my distance, man. I, I don't actually want to fight. Took a little damage there. Basically, yeah, I'm running. Probably could fight. Maybe I should fight. I'm running. Okay, well, the all conflict is over. All battles over. 
Oh wait, now they're, they're still after me? I thought I... I thought it saved because I was out of conflict. They are not going to give up, it seems like. Alright, well, fuck you then. Did I just completely... I just completely missed? Yes, I just completely missed. Oh. They just wanted me to waste some ammo. Now that I actually wasted some ammo, they're willing to leave me alone. Although they're still looking for me. She's not in perfect, and my ship is not in perfect health anymore. Oh, now it is. It regenerates itself. It does not regenerate those lost mortars, though. Part of me wants to attack those motherfuckers just for interfering with my innocent attempts to loot sunken ships. I mean, it's not like the treasure that's in those chests is going to be of some use to someone else. Perhaps there'll be some mortars over here for no real reason. No, I got some sugar, though. Give me some sugar, baby. We do so, and be something rather. Oh, some graphical glitching on that ship. And what we said just made no sense. So I'm not supposed to be here either. <sighs> Sucks to be. Him. Oh, it's like a fish or something, sir. Look, there's a bunch of ships in the water. They're all attacking us, sir. Just... Hopefully we can loot this place quickly, because apparently we'll be under constant attack while Captain Kenway is down here getting eaten by the sharks. Seven chests, three fragments. And sharks. So they're all kind of packed together. Let's see, I almost completely missed, uh, out on my chance to use that vertical beam. Special beam cannon. Ah, I can't fool me, there's a treasure chest in here. Arr. And I still have treasure map equipped for some reason. I do not appear to be able to interact with that door even though it kind of looked like I'm supposed to be able to. Leave me alone. Okay, see if I can find the Animus Fragment that's hidden over here someplace, looks like. Ow. These sharks are like, no Animus Fragment for you, we love that thing. It's all ours. Well, unless it's on the roof of this, or, or one f level further down, with all this junk. Forget it, don't care. Back to the treasure chests. I mean, you can get... Getting all the Animus Fragments, I believe, is going to allow you access to the final cheat, and cheats are not actually useful towards winning the game. It's just kind of an achievement type of deal. Um, 
So somewhere around here is another treasure chest. Somewhere around here is fake Jaws music. I need oxygen badly. I'm gonna get a treasure chest and just freaking die. But I got the golden compass, which uh, everyone thought was gonna be the beginning of a new big money film franchise, but it just kind of flopped. Okay, I believe I'm well and truly boned here. Is that... I can't find the... Uh... Yeah, no, I'm boned. It's going the wrong way to get towards... Uh... Desynchronization imminent. Yeah, I'm swimming someplace I'm not desynchronized, which is a fancy new way of saying drowned. Well, what's my penalty? Am I actually going to have to reget those chests? Nope. No penalty at all, really. I mean, I have to start at the beginning of the area, but. Okay, well, I guess I'm glad we found out that there's not really a penalty, because uh, I don't have to sweat uh, failure in these at all. There's a bloody shark frenzy going on over there. Hey, I was trying to... trying to use the burst beam to my advantage. Okay, I can find an oxygen thing, and I can find an eel. Okay, so the eel is guarding a treasure chest. Of course it is. Eels exist in nature only to guard treasure chests. You guys need to understand that. And Kenway's sweet, sweet tat. Swimming in seaweed, you can't find me. Oh, damn it. This guy was like, ha ha, I use the seaweed against you, Kenway. I'm the most evil and intelligent eel of them all. There's oxygen off to my right. There's an animus fragment around here. So, damn it! They're suddenly like it's Eelapalooza here. What happened to the oxygen thing that I was just looking for? Sharks, I see you. I know you're getting angry. Hello there, Mr. Eel. Not quite as well hidden as some of your friends, but well, perhaps I'm just paying more attention now because you keep murdering me. See, once I found the last uh, treasure chest, there's very little incentive to come back alive. <laughs> Considering that if you die, you just go right back to the exit. I'm trying to hide. I see you there. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to avoid you. Okay, so this one wasn't actually too bad, despite the fact that I screwed up and got killed. And there's like a... Okay, there's one of you guys just... I'd not be a jerk. I could full clear the place if I cared to go grab those uh, animus fragments. I sort of don't. There's horizontal beams. If I felt like 
grabbing them. I could probably get some use out of them. No fair, he didn't sight me in a way that was easy for me to avoid. Now there's a bunch of other sharks trying to kill me too. Sucks oars. I needed actually to get the uh, oxygen thing over here. Hey, I was hitting interact. The hell! You guys can't. You guys can't kill me while I'm avoiding getting killed by the other thing that can kill you. Oh, there was. A, okay, well I found the animus fragment. It's on the other side of this door, obviously. And since it's right here, wait, no, it's over here. Oh, I could have sworn you could interact with that door. It looked like the sort of door that you would be allowed to interact with. It looked like an inner ossitor. Okay. See, that my mistake was actually playing around with the animus fragments. Why in the world did I think that was worth my time? Let's just get out. Uh, interact with it. Hello? Thank you. It's like banging his head against it. Alright. That seems like a good time to... Mm, pardon me, call it a video. I'm not really coming up with a lot of exciting commentary anyway. Um... So, yeah, that one went a little long, too. Sorry. When we come back, um, we'll be heading for Petite Cavern. Although there is a chest required. So maybe we'll be going to get the Petite Cannon chest first. Or the cannon, the chest that gives you a treasure map that I don't know. But uh, we're going after more of this stuff. I'm the Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. And I hope you'll join me next time for more of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Bye-bye now.